from a frequency distribution, how do you generate your histogram and how do you evaluate the mode of the data that is given to you? These are the questions that we are going to be looking at in this question that was extracted from Y 2018 GC exam paper. Welcome to Digital Academy, where we are devoted to building academic excellence in students for their same subject. If you are here to subscribe, go ahead and click on the subscription icon, click on the notification icon. If you find the video useful, like it, share it. Let's get feedback from you on what we can do to actually build your academic excellence. And with that, let's head over to our video for today. So number yeah, in question number three, we are giving the frequency distribution table that shows the range of prices of a brand of car and the corresponding quantity that was demanded. We are to represent this information in a histogram and use that histogram to determine the value of the most preferred selling price. Now, for us to draw a histogram, we need to get a table of class boundary and the class boundary will feature the upper class boundary and the lower class boundary. So if we are to express this, our information on the table, we have the price in millions of Naira and then we have the class boundary. The class boundary we are going to be taking as um, a range between the lower class boundary and the upper class boundary. So from lower class boundary to upper class boundary, then we are going to be having a number of vehicles, which is something similar to, let's say, frequency. That's the frequency. So now, if we are to put in our values as given in the table, we have between 1 to 1.9 million, 2 to 2.9 million, 3 to 3.9 million, 4 to 4.9 million, and 5 to 5.9 million. Now, the class boundary will be the value when we take 0 0.5 out of the first entry and add 0 0.5 to the last entry. So we are going to have 0 0.95 to 1.95, 1.95 to 2.95, then 2.95 to 3.95, 4.9 uh, to 4.95, and then 4.95 to 5.95. Now, having this, we can put in the values of the number of vehicles. Put in that values. Now, with this now, we can say we want to go ahead to obtain our histogram. Now, Having the hazards as the number of vehicles against the price, we are going to be plotting with the class boundary. So we need to put in the values for the class boundaries and then the number of vehicles on the vertical axis. If you label all those, all right, 100. So now, what I'm going to be taking is that. For the number of vehicles, when we have number of vehicles is in the first value, we have 23. And then the class boundary is 0 0.95 to 1.95. We are going to be working with the upper class boundary and the lower class boundary. So 23 will be in between here, 20, 22, 20, okay, to be here. And then we can draw from 0 0.95 to 1.95, that is 23. Then 1.95 to 2.95 is being plotted against 48. So with gradation of 2, 48 will be just before 50. So here, yeah, 48 and 1.95 to 2.95. Then 107 will be located up here. 107. Then 2.95 to 3.95. All right. Then 90. 90 to be plot against 3.95 to 4.95. Then 32. 32 is located here. 
be plotted against 4.95 and 5.95. So with these bars, we just join them together. For the histogram, why it's different from the bar chart is that all the bars, they are touching one another. There is no space in between the bars. So we can finish our histogram by drawing all our rectangles touching one another. And with that, we have gotten our histogram. Now, we are asked to use this histogram to determine the most preferred selling price for the brand of car. To do this, we look at the highest bar, now our highest bar, and then we cross from this highest bar. What we are going to do is that we cross from the two entries to the left and to the right of it, as being shown. Yes. And then the point of intersection, we can trace down to get the value of that point of intersection. And that will be the most preferred selling price for the brand of car that will yield maximum profit for the seller that is actually having these statistics at their custody as a report of their sales. So, if we trace down that point of intersection, yes, we can notice it on the horizontal axis, which is for the price. We have some price. Now, we have initially, we have 2.95, and then we have some entries. If we grade this, between 2.95 and 3.95, this will be 0 0.75. And then adding 0 0.75 to 2.95 will give us the most preferred price in millions of Naira. So that will be 2.95 plus 0 0.75. And that will give us 3.7. But remember, we are working with millions of Naira. So that will be um, 3 million 700,000 Naira. That's all we're going to be having for today is DevTooth Academy. And if you have found this video useful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification icon, like the videos, share with your loved ones, share with your friends, share with your younger ones, share with your relatives. And together, let's build academic excellence in students. Until next time, God bless you.